Florida State head coach Mike Norvell knows that when you take a job of FSU's caliber, the clock starts ticking day one. You need to show improvement and you need to do it fast. Due to some recent rule changes, the NCAA is quickly becoming a free agent league and Norvell knows that the fastest way to improve is to take in transfer players at key positions. No positions are more important than the quarterback, the defensive end, and the offensive tackle. The first of these positions Norvell addressed was the quarterback, and he reeled in a good one in former UCF quarterback Mackenzie Milton. Milton was extremely successful in his time in Orlando. Not only was he one of the most efficient quarterbacks in college football, but he led his team to a national championship. But what should make FSU fans excited more than anything is how much he'll be able to expand the Seminoles' play calling. Let's take a look at what he did well at UCF and see how it can transfer to Norvell's offense. When you watch Milton's film, the first thing that stands out is his ability to run, and UCF liked to run him a lot. Let's take a look at this one. This window dressing motion pulls the linebackers to the trips, which leaves six blockers for six defenders and gives Milton easy running room. For those unaware, Milton had a gruesome leg injury a couple years back that might impact his pure running speed. But what I think should be unaffected is his ability to extend plays in the pocket. Here he uses a crafty pump fake to get the defender airborne, which allows him to step up and find a sliver of an opening to deliver the ball. But his pure passing ability really shouldn't be impacted much by the injury. He's pretty adept at making the easy completions like this out route. This is something FSU couldn't always rely on last year. In his time at Memphis, Norvell showed that the RPO game, specifically the RPO slant or glance, depending on who you ask, is a staple of his offense. However, Norvell didn't appear comfortable enough to call this frequently with Jordan Travis behind center. Look for this to really open up if Milton gets the nod to start in the fall. His touch and accuracy on these short passes really take the pressure off the offensive line. But what will really help FSU's offense is his ability to throw the ball downfield. One way to categorize offenses is by their approach to beating man coverage. If the defense is able to play reliable man coverage, it leaves extra men in the box to help with run fits. This means that teams have to be prepared to beat man coverage by any means necessary. A method that's becoming increasingly common in college football is the mesh concept. It's an old air raid play that has crossing receivers set picks across the middle of the field in order to spring a receiver open. However, this isn't what Norvell or Scott Frost, who is UCF's head coach when Milton was playing, likes to attack man. They are both much more vertical in their approach. If you're going to play man, they're going to trust their men to beat you one-on-one -on -one down the field. And no route is better at exploiting man coverage vertically than the fade concept. Here Norvell sees man in the red zone and he trusts his quarterback and wide receiver to connect on this fade route. Notice the split by this receiver. His narrow alignment gives him more room to expand and makes the throw easier on the quarterback. At UCF, Milton showed time and time again that he's capable of making this throw. One of the most common man beater concepts was the hitch fade concept. Here UCF's wide spacing makes it easy to diagnose this as man coverage. The outside receiver's hitch route occupies the corner which leaves this nickel defender to have to defend man on man. Notice this receiver stems inside, which gives Milton more room to work with towards the sideline. Here's another example against Auburn, who's playing a type of cover two match coverage. These hitches occupy the corner, the safety, and this linebacker, which leaves a one-on-one -on, -one on a fade to this slot receiver. When you run a lot of fades, you need a response when teams play you over the top. The common answer is the back shoulder fade. The Memphis quarterback here sees that the defender is step for step with the receiver, so he throws the ball behind his man and trusts the timing they've built together. Milton is adept at this throw too. I especially like this play. Milton knows where he's going pre-snap, the play action draws up the linebackers, and then Milton looks to the other side of the field to draw the safeties away from the throw. He then delivers a nice back shoulder throw. Fades aren't the only man beater route that Norvell likes to use. It looks like Houston is playing either man or some kind of cover four. The result is the same. Norvell knows that he has this tight end matched up with this safety, so he calls a deep post. This receiver runs off the boundary corner, and these receivers just kind of jog to occupy the defenders up top, and Norvell gets the man matchup he was looking for. Unfortunately, he doesn't get a good throw out of it. This isn't a play we saw much from FSU this past year, but it's a play that Milton is prepared to make. Now, no one player makes a football team. While I believe that Milton is a top-notch college quarterback, Injury questions still linger in the back of many's minds, but 
I believe he still has the tools to get it done. His arm strength might be lacking a bit, but he's a lead in anticipating an opening and he has the accuracy to deliver the ball consistently and reliably to his target. His straight line speed might be diminished, but his true skill always lied in extending plays. I don't know what impact he makes on this team next year, but it never hurts to bring in a kid who is the level both athletically and personally as Mackenzie Milton. Thanks for tuning in. We've already done a couple of videos about Milton on the triple option, so make sure you go and check that out. Make sure that you check out other great articles on Tomahawk Nation. Thanks.